Men of Reddit, what is something you wish every woman knew? That telling someone exactly what you want is the best way to get that thing. That goes for men too. We like being touched too. Run your hands through my hair, rub my chest, anything to make me feel wanted. It's crazy how lonely a relationship can feel when the physical intimacy is a one-way street. There's nothing more attractive than a girl who initiated contact of any kind. Edit. Well this is blowing up, so I just want to give a shout out to my beautiful GF who has made me feel more wanted and loved in a year than I've felt my whole life. Men like compliments too. I had a random girl at the movies drive by and say hey, you're cute by the way, and I'm still smiling like an idiot. Just because we don't always know the right thing to say, doesn't mean we don't care. Then say that. I don't know what to say to make you feel better, but I'm here with you, and I care about you is a perfectly valid response that will often make us feel better than if you came up with an empty paltitude. Also, there's nothing I can really say to make that better. Your life just sucks. Really cheered up my friend last time she was upset and venting. It made her laugh. Sometimes we just need our alone time and space to do guy things. It does not mean that we are tired of you or dislike you. Some of us like affection too. Sometimes I want to be the little spoon. It's okay if you make the first move. Guys can be shy too. So much this. My girlfriend actually made the first move between us, and I'm glad she did. Tomorrow makes 6 months for us, and it's been the smoothest greatest relationship either of us have ever had. I can only speak for myself. Playing hard to get doesn't work for me. I call it hard to want. If you are interested in me, act like it. I'm not going to waste time playing that game. I never get compliments. Like, ever. It's not really a huge deal for me. It's not like I'm missing something by not being complimented. But it's something I remember for a long time when it does happen. About 2 months ago, one of my best friends, who is a woman, said that even though we may not be important to the world, we are important to each other. That made my day and I haven't forgotten it. I, very frequently, do not have an opinion on a particular this or that situation. For example, should I wear the red shirt or the blue shirt? I honestly have no opinion. I'm not apathetic, I hear you. I'm just incapable of forming an opinion on it. That's, my friend, why you just fake it. You say in a confident and knowing voice the red one. I think it will match your other clothes. Just make something up and they will proceed to do whatever the duck they were about to do anyways. When it comes to first dates, men are just as nervous as women. When I was younger I once actually wore maxipods in my armpits to keep me from soaking through my shirt on a first date. So, can confirm. I say this as the father of a daughter, it's okay to be you. Anyone who's going to think less of you for playing in the mud while wearing a dress or collecting bugs in the backyard with your bare hands is someone whose opinion you don't need to worry about. Men have nowhere to go in case of an emergency center. Our city has a dozen women's shelters for women in case of an emergency. Oh well, I'll be at the pub if you need me. That I genuinely do not give a damn where we eat. And frankly sometimes just don't want to pick. Literally say the name of any place and there's a 95% chance I agree. Being gay is part of me, not something for you to access or rise. OMG I've always wanted a GBF. As if I'm nothing outside of that, and just there for you to look progressive, and give advice on guys slash clothes. It's not a common occurrence, but it happens more than you think. A question that has a predetermined answer is a test, not just a question. Please stop testing me. I didn't study. Very happy to say that I don't get this from my so, but my mom and some of my aunts just love disguising pop quizzes as innocent sounding questions. We like affection and compliments too. My girlfriend doesn't say nice things to me or compliment me and sometimes I wonder if she's even attracted to me or what she sees in me. It's okay to say nice things. We will always try to solve your problems. Always. Sometimes you just want to be heard and much of the time us guys understand this and we feel that way too. However, it's almost like it's coded into our DNA to try to solve the problem. Even if we patiently listen and just share in the emotion of it all, we are secretly battling the inner problem solver and I want you to know it's driving us nuts. 
A man's romantic fantasy is the antithesis of what society expects out of a man during the dating process and during a relationship. Many women would probably think that a man just fantasizes about the kind of thing that you see in various adult videos. Sure, we have an animalistic side that thinks about that. But when we think with our heart we fantasize about something completely different. When it comes to romance a man, typically, is expected to take on a very active role. He's expected to make the first move and do something or be something to prove his worth to her right away. He's expected to walk up to her and put on a good enough show in order to qualify as a candidate. He needs to be charming and or funny and or other beguiling enough to receive a passing mark on the entrance exam to dating. For a man, dating is work. It's a lot of work. He needs to put his heart and soul into a performance just to hope that it is enough to be noticed. But society expects the opposite for a woman. She is allowed to just be there. She just needs to exist and be visible. And it's expected that she just needs to be available for a man to make, put on his display. Dating for a woman is far more passive. Not for all women, of course, but in general. Women have things that they do but little of it is socially active. Little of it comes with the risk of embarrassment or overt rejection. He comes to her and puts on his show and then she decides if he gets the chance to move on to the next round of trying to impress her. The typical romantic fantasy from a woman's perspective is for a man to come and sweep her off of her feet. It's for the man to put on such a good, enchanting show that there's no way that she could possibly reject his advances. Her fantasy is to have the ultimate active partner. The vast majority of high selling and extremely popular romantic movies or romance novels reflect this. So, here's the point of all of this. A man's romantic fantasy is just be accepted for who he is. Men are tired of having to constantly put on a show. They are tired of putting so much of themselves into trying to read a woman in order to react to her and to be this wonderfully charming individual to pass her barrier of entry. He's tired of having so much on the line and then waiting those gut-wrenching moments where she's silently deciding over the course of the attempt whether he gets the thumbs up or thumbs down. A man just wants to be wanted for who he is a regular basis. He wants someone who stand by his side and support him even when he can't be on. He wants a moment to feel what's it like to have that more passive role where someone else makes him feel desirable simply for being there. He wants a partner to show him that he matters for no reason other than being recognized as someone who actually does matter. A man just wants to be wanted. The loneliness of being single can be pretty crushing sometimes. I know women have had shitty experiences with creepy dudes, and I'm sorry, it can make the world of difference in my day though, if I catch a girl's eyes and exchange a smile. In that moment, everything's okay, and I feel quite a bit better about my day. That to many guys calling them thin or other similar words isn't really seen as a nice compliment, even though you probably meant it that way. For a lot of guys they want to be seen as big and muscular, and you calling them skinny is just pointing out they aren't. However calling another woman thin is a much more normal compliment. Just in the way calling another woman muscular isn't generally seen as a compliment as it's a masculine tray. This is a pretty minor thing, and not one that I wish they all knew just something they could be aware of. It's a slightly similar situation to being called pretty. Guys know what you mean, but it's still a word generally described for feminine features. I only remember this because the other day I was complimenting a Kaoka who started looking like he'd been working out, and another Kaoka said I know, he looks so thin. When this was a guy who was already skinny and had started putting on muscle weight. Guys really don't get complimented much, so I promise, if you give your partner a compliment every now and then it'll make his day and probably even his week. I remember compliments from years and years ago and try to relive them when for example I grab a piece of clothing that someone said something nice about once. When I'm with you, you don't have to constantly force a conversation. Just because I don't feel like talking doesn't mean I don't wanna be around you. Also women, don't feel bad when your dude just wants to hang with his friends. They just wanna drink beer, watch the game and talk about shit they can't talk about when girls are around. To add to this, please don't give the silent treatment when I'm reaching out to ask what I did wrong. 
it's hurtful to me, and my self-worth takes a nosedive cause I feel like I'm not worth your time.